Hey, and welcome to Rooster Fail, where I still can't aim. So I'll fill you in shortly on what I've been up to, but uh, there's a little bit of fun here at the start that I'd like to share with you. I still haven't figured out how to melee with a gun in my hand, so this guy almost got me. Now that's out of the way, let me get you up to speed on what I've been up to these last few days. So after building that temporary base in the school down in Severograd, I moved up the hill a little. Um, I'm not quite sure of the name of this town, um, but I've decided to build the base up here. I've been up here for a couple of days now. It's fairly quiet. I can usually get out and do a loot run uh, through all the neighboring buildings fairly quickly. Um, so I'm quite enjoying living up here now, it's a bit quieter, um, no neighbours, well not as yet at least. The tent is a little too big to fit in any of my bags, uh, so if I want to get it back to my base it looks like I'm just going to have to carry it. So I carry the tent back to my new base, which is in this uh, double story house just here. I've managed to um, set up a couple of gates with four code combos. Uh, the barbed wire at the bottom has caught me a few times already, but uh, it's a pretty good little base I think. I think I'm doing alright. Um, I haven't been disturbed yet. It's been a couple of days. So as you can see, I've got a fair bit of space in here, a few crates and a nice tent and with this second tent now I'll have a lot more storage space. So I've just had a fairly successful looting run, so I sort out all my loot before moving on to doing some further base improvements. Um, I spent a fair bit of time just staring out the window waiting for some darkness to cover what I'm doing. I do feel quite exposed when I'm locking and unlocking this gate at the front, so I think building a little airlock at the front will help. So Later on, I decide to run out to a nearby military base to some barracks. Um, it's actually in a hunter's camp, but these barracks are at the back of it, and there's also a military hospital here, I think. Um, so I'm just trying to look for some better loot now. I've decided that it's time to get some better weapons, stop being such a coward um, and maybe go a bit more on the offensive when there's uh, other players around. I'm a little concerned that all these zombies outside will have alerted people, um, but I don't want to get chased out there, so I decide to let them in and try and dispatch them with my gun. This is the first time I've ever found a plate carrier. I wasn't sure if they even existed on this server. The plate carrier should uh, be very handy in protecting me when dealing with other players. Now the infected have been dealt with, I quickly check over them to see if they have any loot worth taking. 
uh, before going back into the little bathroom area here and trying to sort out my loot. Um, I'm not sure how I got so confused, but um, I figured that this uh, clip here is for the gun that I currently have. But it's for a different model gun, so spend all this time loading up the clip, getting it all ready. I need to find out that uh, it doesn't work. So once I figure out that it's the wrong clip, I then unload all the rounds from that clip and load them into the right clip. I haven't checked out this barracks yet, so I run in and try and get whatever loot I can from here. Those shots are coming from the south, probably from Severograd, somewhere down near there. But it does mean that there's other players around and the shots will attract other players to the area. So it's time to start hurrying up and move on. Gun just jammed. <laughs> After bandaging myself up. I return back to my base. I'm hoarding far too much stuff. I'm not really sure what to do with it all, but for some reason I keep hoarding it. I decide I'm looking a little too lethal, so I uh, change my outfit to look a little more friendly. And then I decide to head out and get some more supplies for making some more wooden crates. Trying to be careful to not cut down trees, just to make logs from the trees. It'll make it harder for someone to know that I'm living in the area. I hear the footsteps behind me, turn around and cut myself on my own barbed wire. Thankfully, I dispatch with this effective fairly easily. I 
I'll make myself a couple more wooden crates and add them to the collection. I'll then go through and sort out all my kit and log out for the night. Thanks for watching all the way to the end guys, it really does mean a lot to me. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. You either liked the video or you fell asleep watching it, otherwise you wouldn't be here still listening to me. <laughs> Thanks guys, see you in the next one.